Hello, I'm Charles Moffat, and it is book review time again. I just finished reviewing this one, but it's, so it's time to talk about this one again. Uh, sorry, for the first time. So I just finished doing that one, uh, a nice book review on that. I read this one years ago. This one I just finished reading today. So, and I'm excited to do the book review. So basically I went into this one with uh, shall we say hesitant feelings about it like I was worried it wasn't going to be as good as this one and I was like I was a part of the way through and I was part of the way through and I was like oh I'm maybe it's not as good as the first one I don't know and then you know what happened I got to the end it was better than the first one <laughs> I didn't think it could be better because I was like there was various bits that I was like oh what's going to happen I don't know and for a moment there I thought it was going to be a duology where it's like, it's only two books instead of a trilogy. But, uh, and then the ending, the ending comes and it's like, oh, this is definitely a trilogy. Uh, yep, that was unexpected. And I just, it, it surprised me. And I was like, oh, this is better than I thought it was going to be. So, if you're going, if you want to read this one, I recommend reading this one first. So you definitely want to read both. And if you're impatient, if you like, if you read this one and then that one, and you're waiting for book three to finally come out, I have some recommendations. Go get Charles Saunders' uh, Amaro series of books, or you can get uh, Charles Moffat. Wait, that's me. Uh, you could also read my series of uh, books. The uh, sorry, the uh, duology here in this case: uh, the Dragon Tree of Cachet and the Dragon Slayers of Cachet. Um, for those that don't know, it's uh, if it's if it's got that little thingy above the uh, S, it's uh, it makes like a SH sound. Anyway, so if you're impatient, go read these books, and, you know, while you're waiting. But yes, very good book here. Also, because this was the Indigo one, I think that's why it came with this little extra poster thing in the back, which you know, I. I'm not really interested in the poster, but maybe my son will read this book someday. Uh, so maybe he'll care more about that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe my wife will read this book because uh, the plot is very similar for these books to uh, Avatar The uh, Last Airbender. But with obviously there's been a, a number of changes. Uh, so it's similar to that. And my wife likes Avatar The Last Airbender. And I've been telling her, hey, you should read these books. You should read these books. And my wife is like, oh, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. And I was like, you know what? You can also listen to the audiobook version on an app called Libby. And Libby just uses your uh, library card to log in. And I've been... Uh, when, I li when I read this one, I listened to the audiobook at the same time. So it allowed me to basically like read along while listening to the audiobook. So that was a... A d unusual way to be reading the book but I find I concentrate better and I'm not like repeating the same paragraph over and over again uh, when I am uh, listening to the audiobook and reading at the same time anyway uh, I don't know when the third book is coming out I do know that they were apparently planning on making a series of uh, movies based on the books uh, but that uh, because Disney bought the rights or sorry Lucasfilm bought the rights which is owned by disney now um and then they kind of changed their mind apparently and now you know they, they're now the rights i think have been sold to a different uh company like paramount or something like that i can't remember who bought it uh so maybe it'll be turned into a film maybe it won't i don't know sometimes when people buy the rights to movies they don't actually use them they just sit on them and that never do makes anything so we'll see what happens with that at present I'm not expecting the movies to be made anytime soon because I think the lesson here from Game of Thrones is never make a movie or TV series if the author hasn't actually finished writing the series, okay? So maybe after the third book is written, then they'll be like, okay, it's time to actually make the movies. Right now, I don't think they're going to do it anytime soon because they, uh, I think they've learned their lesson with Game of Thrones. Yeah, don't make the movie series or the TV ser series until the books are all written. Anyway, I'm Charles Moffat, and uh, please uh, do check out uh, 
children of blood uh, sorry children of blood and bone and uh, children of virtue and vengeance and do also check out the various books by charles saunders and myself charles moffat okay bye bye oh and uh don't forget to like subscribe and comment all that good stuff okay bye bye <laughs>